Welcome to this video. My name is Stefanie Jochmes and today I show you how to install the Embase Sojo plugins on Mac. Additionally, I show you a few examples where the plugins are used. The plugins files are available on our website www.monkeybedsoftware.de. On our website, click the tab Sojo plugins. Here you find the download area. You can choose for which operating system you want to download the plugins. You can choose between the DMG archive or the ZIP archive for Windows or Linux. All archives contain the same files. So if you work on two systems, you can use the download files on the other system too. We download the files as DMG archive. This may take a few minutes. In this time, I show you the documentation. Each class and its corresponding methods and properties of the MBS Sojo plugins are described in the documentation. To access the online documentation, click on documentation above the download area. Here we see the different topics for which there are classes in the plugins. For example, if you are interested in the topic barcodes, we click on barcode. Here we see a list of all classes that are related to this topic. Below the single classes are the methods, properties, events and constants that this class contains. If you want to have an overview of a certain class, click on this class. Here we can see for which platforms the class is usable. Additionally, we can see which plugin is needed to use this class. More about this later. We also find a short description of the class and often there is an example of how to use this class. Below the information box we can see the individual contents of the class such as properties, methods, shared methods, constants or events. We can also click on them individually to get more information. Additionally, examples are listed and linked in which the class is used. If we click on one of these links, we can get the source code of the example. Here we can see how the class is implemented and used. But now back to the class overview. Here you can see additional articles and blog entries in which the class is mentioned. If you click on a single method, you get a list of the methods of the class. Again, we get information about the platforms. And we get a description what the uh, function exactly do and where its special characteristics are. Often there is this example for the use of this method. In the header of these information boxes, we can see the method name. In the brackets after the name, there are parameters, which the required type that must be passed to the method. We see that we have values that are assigned with an equal sign. These are default values that are set as parameters value if no other value is defined in the parameters. We also have functions that can return a value. For example, here, which we can see in this function. Behind the brackets, follow an other S and the matching data type of the result. The download is now completed and we can start the installation of the plugins. First of all, we open the archive.
and there's the folder plugins. We see that the plugins are not a single file, but several different files. Which file you need depends on which classes you want to use in your program. For example, if you only want to work with the functionalities of the barcode plugin, you only need the barcode plugin. We can copy this plugin and look at the program folder and there to the folder plugins. There we can insert the plugin. If Soju is open while this process, we must close it and open it again. Now you can use the classes that belongs to the plugin barcode. Of course, you can put all plugin files in the plugin folder and the program will get the information it needs automatically. But if you decide against it, it is important that you pay attention on the dependencies of the plugins among each other and you find a list on our website. Here you can see which plugins you have to put into the plugin folder. For example, if you want to use a class that comes from the Mac 64-bit plugin, for example, it is for Mac functionalities like Syncit, you need to put at least the MBS main plugin, the MBS Mac Cloud plugin, the MBS Mac Base plugin, the MBS Mac Cocoa plugin, the MBS Mac Controls plugin, the MBS Mac CG plugin, and the MBS Mac CF plugin in the plugin folder of Sojo. You can see which class belongs to which plugin in the info box of each class in the documentation. Don't worry, if you only need a part of the MBS Mac 64 bit plugin, only that part will be built in. The other parts are not included but you still need these parts for the compilation. Now let us take a look at a few examples. The examples are downloaded along with the plugin files in the archive. They are located in the folder examples. The examples are divided into folders according to the used plugins. Let's start with the barcode example. So we click on barcode. Here we distinguish between whether we dealing with the creation of a barcode or its recognition. We want to have a look at an example in which a barcode are generate. So we click generate. And then we click generate barcodes. At first, we look at the window. In the window, there is a list. This list has to be filled with different barcode types. The example has an open event. We can see it here. The method test is called several times. Parameters are passed to this method. And now let's us take a closer look at this method. The method has three different input parameters like type label as string, type as integer and text. At the beginning of the method, we create an instance of the class barcode generator MBS. So we want to generate barcodes right away. We must specify the barcode type before generating the barcode. This we write in the property symbology. 
we get this barcode type as second parameter, type as integer. This can be, for example, 58 for the QR code. Alternatively, you can also enter the constant called barcode QR code. For each barcode that can be specified, there is also a constant that fits. Then we create the barcode by calling the method encode from the class. We pass the text that the barcode should contain. And in the instance property picture, there should now be stored an image of the generated barcode. We can store it in a variable of the type picture. If there was an error, this variable remains empty. If there was an error, then we identify which error it is and enter an error text. Afterwards, we add a row to the list in the window, which contains the description of the barcode we received as input parameter of the function. In the second column, the text of the barcode and finally the error text. If we have a value in the variable pick, an image of the barcode is entered to the last column and overrides the error text. This is done by the event cell text paint, in which the barcode is drawn into the graphic event in the cell. Now we can let the example run and see how the single barcodes are created. And we see here the barcodes. Let's move to the next example, this time from the DynaPDF plugin. The DynaPDF plugin is a special case amongst the plugins because it must be Porsche separated and is not included in the complete package. There are four different licenses for DynaPDF, which contains different functionalities depending on the license type and a list you can find on our website. Now we have to add the DynaPDF plugin to our plugin folder before we can open the examples. So we go to plugins find the Dyna PDF plugin, copy it, go to the application folder of Sojo, insert it and close Sojo. Then we can open our example. Extract page text. In this example, we want to display the plain text of a PDF document. For this, we have a text field in the window and a slider to select which PDF page we want to see as plain text. In the most Dyna PDF examples, we have a My Dyna PDF MBS class. In this case, the class take care about the troubleshooting and we can copy it easily and customize it. Have a look at the open event of the window. In the window property PDF, we add a new instance of the MyDyna PDF MBS class. And in the next step, we specified the type of license we work with. In this case, a light license would be fine. Then we create a new PDF working environment. For the import, we set a few more flags. Only the non-interactive text should be imported and the text should be imported 
as page and not as a template. We then set this flex here. Now we check if the PDF file that we want to import exists with the method find file. If the file do not exist or is not able to be open, we close the program at this point. Otherwise, we import the PDF into our working environment. We set the maximum value of the slider to the number of pages and at next we start the method load. We pass the page number one as parameter. Now let's take a look to load. In this method, we make the first page editable. This means we can work with the content of the first page and call, for example, a method to extract the text of the page. Then we display the extracted text in the text box of the window. And then we finish the editing of the page. When we move the slider, the event value changed is called and in this event we call the method load with the required page number. If we now run the program, we can go through the pages and see in our text field the plain text that matches the page. I have shown you two simple examples in the example folder, but we have also included some more complex examples. For example, the example scene kit from the Mac 64 bit plugin. The Tower of Hanoi. We can see that this example is a bit more complex, but it can be analyzed in the same way that we see. Go through it step by step and the commands in the code should help you. And here you can see the Tower of Hanoi. If you test the plugin for a while, you see a dialog that says that you are using an unregistered plugin. If you don't want to see this dialog anymore, or if you want to build your project, you need to buy a license of the plugins on our website. You can buy single theme plugins like the barcode plugin or you can buy a complete package which contains all the plugins listed here. If you want to use several plugins, it is often more economical to buy a complete package. Some of the plugins like the camera or the data type plugin are only available with the complete version. These plugins are then marked with a star. If you buy a license and the plugin is registered, you can use the functionalities of the main plugin for free. This is free for every registered plugin. I will now show you how to register the plugins. So we add the event open. And if you order a license, you will get an email that include a line that look like this. We have the 
user. The license type, for example, MBS complete. The expiration date, in this case, 2020 in December and the license key itself. The license key is much longer in a real license, but this is only an example. In the open event of the app, we add the following lines. If you want to give away your program, your license key should not be in plain text because it is easy for hackers to use this key for their purposes. For example, you can use mathematics to encrypt parts of the registration data. For example, you can replace 123 with 276 multiplicate with 17 minus 4590 plus 3 multiplicate with 7. You can also set variables in which you can assign to parts of the original string and then append them to each other. For example, dim xs string equals a dim epsilon s string equals B dim set s string equals C. Then we can append them to each other. It would be x plus epsilon plus set. You can also use ASCII characters. So that the 7, for example, is char 55. A combination of these methods could look like this. For testing it, we can display the result as message box. We can run it. And we can see that the result is correct. Of course, you can also use different encoding algorithms like Base64. An example is included in our plugins. The important thing is that you encrypt your code individually. The example is for orientation and not a one-to-one -one replicate. 
If you have any questions about our plugins, feel free to contact us. We wish you a lot of fun with the MBS Sojo plugins. Thank you for watching this video.